chairs of group that led effort to boot Trump from Colorado ballot donated to Biden. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington helped bring the lawsuit against former President Trump on behalf of six voters. The board chairs of the group that brought the lawsuit leading to former President Donald Trump's removal from the 2024 Colorado ballot had previously donated large sums to President Biden's campaign and victory fund, filings reviewed by Fox News Digital Show. The Colorado Supreme Court disqualified Trump from the ballot on Tuesday, under the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, over the January 6, 2021 Capitol riots. We do not reach these conclusions lightly, the court's majority wrote. We are mindful of the magnitude and weight of the questions now before us. We are likewise mindful of our solemn duty to apply the law, without fear or favor, and without being swayed by public reaction to the decisions that the law mandates we reach. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, CREW, a self-identified nonpartisan watchdog group, brought the Colorado lawsuit against Trump on behalf of six Republican and unaffiliated Colorado voters including former state, federal and local officials, the group wrote on its website in early September. Cruz leaders, meanwhile, have showered Biden with thousands of dollars in donations when he previously went head-to-head -head against Trump. Beth Nolan, a former general counsel at George Washington University, who also served as counsel to former President Bill Clinton, steers Cruz's board as its chair. According to Federal Election Commission records, Nolan sent $2,800 to Biden's campaign and $3,000 to the Biden Victory Fund in 2020. In addition to Nolan, Cruz vice chair, Wayne Jordan, donated substantial amounts to Biden's presidential apparatus by pushing $300,000 to the Biden Victory Fund in 2020. Jordan is married to Democrat megadonor Quinn Delaney, who added $650,000 to Biden's Victory Fund during the last election cycle, records show. Neither Nolan Wayne nor Crew responded to Fox News Digital's request for comment. Despite its self-identified non-partisan status, Crew has long been viewed as a left-leaning organization. David Brock, founder of the liberal groups Media Matters for America and American Bridge, previously ran the group as its board chair. In early 2017, Brock huddled with donors at a posh resort in Florida to map out how his constellation of organizations would kick Donald Trump's A throughout his presidency, according to documents obtained by the Washington Free Beacon. Brock had ostensibly stepped away from his position as Cruz board chair at the time of the gathering. However, the documents detailing the upcoming goals and efforts of how his groups would attack Trump during his presidency include the Watchdog Group. The documents specified how Crew would hit Trump with a steady flow of damaging information, new revelations, and an inability 